Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my somewhat annual vlog sale. So once in a while, I do try to downsize my luxury collection just so I don't end up hoarding things that I don't use. And these items, for whatever reason, they just don't work with my lifestyle or I don't find myself reaching for them. So yeah, it's time to let them go. And even if you're not interested in purchasing any of these pieces, I'm also going to let you guys know why I decided to sell these items along. So I'm going to first talk about, you know, just some like necessary details behind the sale and then I'll let you guys know what items I'm selling. So yeah, let's get into this video. Okay, so for the details of the sale, I'm going to read this list off of my phone just so I don't miss anything. And all of this information, I will also leave in the description box down below along with prices as well as item conditions so you can reference that at any time. So for the details now, all items are authentic. I don't own any fake items and I would of course never sell you guys a fake. Prices are firm and are priced in US dollars. I'm only shipping to US addresses and shipping is already included in the prices. Payments are accepted through Zelle only. And if you have a bank account with a bank in the US, I'm pretty certain you have access to Zelle. So that is going to be the only payment that I'm accepting. Everything will be sold on a first come first serve basis. I will not be holding items. And please let me know what you're interested in either through email or Instagram DM and I'll let you know how to proceed with the payment if the item is still available. And I'll leave my email address as well as my Instagram handle in the description box down below. And please make sure you don't just go ahead and send the payment using the email that is listed in the description box because the email address that I have associated with my Zell account is actually different than and the email that I use for YouTube. So I will let you guys know that um, when it's time to send the payment. And there are some instances where um, your bank might have a daily limit that you can send to sell that is lower than the price of the item. So if that is the case, then after you send the first portion of the payment, I will put that item aside for you guys um, until you send the full amount for the payment. But just keep in mind that once you send that initial payment, then there are no returns or refunds. And then next up, all sizing, item condition, and what comes with the items, etc., are listed in the description box down below. And all sales are final, no exchanges or refunds. So those are all the details that I wanted to just let you guys know up front. So now let's get into the items. So I'm going to start with the SLGs that I'm selling first. And the first one is this Chanel 19 card holder. It's in this light pink color that has a little bit of a lilac hue to it. It's very subtle, but it's there. Um, and oh yeah, for all of these items, I will show a picture up on the screen to show you guys what is most true to color just because sometimes it can come off a little bit weird with my lighting in the video. Um, so this item, I purchased this in 2021. This I believe is part of the 21S collection. I'm pretty certain it's from that collection and I really wanted something with the Chanel 19 logo on it and at that point in time, I wasn't interested in the Chanel 19 bag itself. So I wanted something like in an SLG form with the logo. So I bought this one and I really love the color of it. I do love the Chanel 19 logo, um, but I have since bought like a classic style flat card holder and I just don't really believe in having multiple card holders that are the same exact style with the same card slots and whatever. Um, I just feel like it's a little bit redundant. I don't really um, switch out my SOGs to suit the color of my bag or whatever. That's just not me. So this became like a little bit redundant when I got the other one. I purchased this because I wanted the logo, but I have the logo on something else now. So. It's 
not really like a necessary piece in my collection and i've also bought um another card holder that is a slightly different format um that i also really enjoy using so yeah this just ended up being the one that got kind of like put aside in favor of other ones um it's been kind of like sitting back here for like the entire time i've had this layout up for my shelves back here so yeah i think it's time to let this one go on the lower card slot in the back there's like this line across that i'm pretty certain it's just from me putting like my credit card or id back here so that's one area with wear and tear and then the other thing is on the cc logo in the front because there's leather all throughout this logo um parts of the leather does have um some marks on it i feel like the majority of this was already there when i first purchased this i have a hunch that it was caused by the dust bag so when i ship this out i'm going to wrap this in white tissue paper for you guys first so it doesn't directly touch the dust bag and yeah i guess if you buy this i would just say don't store this in the dust bag just to um be on the safe side um but those two areas are the areas with wear and tear so this is the first item and then the second item in the SOG category is this passport cover from Louis Vuitton. So this is from their um, 2021 Christmas animations range. And this is just, it's really the cutest thing. I absolutely think it is so adorable. And you know, if I was a collector of luxury items in general, I would totally keep this but that's just not who I am and yeah I haven't used this even a single time this is completely brand new it has the great wall of china pattern all over it um there's the little Vivienne in the front she's holding a camera as well as the kirigami pouch and then in the back you have this panda and then there's some bamboo and then it's holding the on the go tote it is just so adorable um but yeah i haven't used this at all um and frankly when i go on vacation and i need my passport i'm also carrying my husband's passport so i'm not using this i'm using actually um my medium kirigami fits both of our passports perfectly fine so that's actually what i'm using even though you know i would love to use this because it is so adorable and i feel like this needs to travel the world but it's just not able to do that with me so <laughs> it's time to let this one go and the inside is also so pretty it's this really nice blue color you do have these four card slots and then this um little i don't know what do you call this a pocket over here and then of course you can fit your passport over there it's just it's so pretty i wish i had a use for this but yeah this is completely brand new there is nothing wrong with it whatsoever the quality of this i honestly have to say is pretty great um so this i am selling for exactly how much i paid for it plus the amount that it would cost for me to ship it to you guys um but it is still much cheaper than you can find on any other like pre-loved websites i think they're going for like twice the amount that i'm selling it for on some other websites but yeah i'm just I just want what I pay for it back plus you know to kind of like break even with the shipping involved so this is item number two and then the last item in this SLG category it's technically an SLG um but I also consider it a bag so this is kind of like the transition between SLGs and bags and it is my Chanel um, Handle with Care Vanity. That's the official name of this little vanity case. And uh, 
This bag is so stinking adorable. I just think it is so cute. But once again, this has been on display like the entire like past half a year or so. I haven't used it and I don't think I will really be using it. Like I have to force myself to use it. And that's just, I don't know. I don't find that particularly fun. So it's time to sell this one along too. This is in the 22C pink color. I think like people have referred to it as like Sakura pink. Um, and I think it was like pretty hyped up at the time. Um, I do have this also in like a card holder form back there um, and I really do love this color um, this is in caviar so it's pretty durable um, but yeah even though I love the style of this bag and I really like the color of it it's just too small of a bag for me and it also has zippers and what I've learned about myself is that I just don't enjoy having to unzip and zip things up um for my bags or even like slgs i just don't enjoy having to like fiddle with zippers that's why um i really love flap style bags because i don't they just i find them so much easier so this bag um yeah i just don't really use it unfortunately um it is pretty small so you know you can see from the size of this it is quite small it doesn't fit my phone i think if you have a flip phone um that will fit in here because i've seen some people like show what's in their bag for this and they have like the samsung flip phone and that does fit in here this bag does have two compartments one in the front and then one in the back that's like a similar size and configuration kind of um so you do have this little pocket that you can use for like your cards in both sides and then you also get this like mirror over here too which is honestly absolutely useless because there is no way you can see your reflection in that the way it's oriented um but yeah, it's still a really cute bag if you're into tiny little vanities. I honestly have to say that this is the cutest vanity that I've seen Chanel make. Um, and this is in great condition. The only wear and tear I see on this is there is a tiny little bit of tarnish on the zipper pose. But yeah, this is so cute i wish it worked for me but unfortunately it just doesn't so that's why i'm selling it along and moving on to bags now the first bag that i'm selling is this mini reissue right here in this light purple color with silver hardware so i really love the color of this bag um i think it's actually showing like pretty accurate on screen but I will also leave a picture up on the screen right now to show you guys what the true color of this bag is because sometimes it does end up looking gray but it definitely is light purple and it's just such a stunning color um and I also really love the reissue style but I also currently um have two purple bags there is this other one that I tried to sell in my vlog sale last year and it didn't sell um so between that one and this one I only want to keep one of them I thought about maybe like lowering the price on the other purple bag um in order to sell it but that was a price that my husband agreed on selling it at um that bag was purchased by him. I eventually got his okay to try to sell it, but it didn't sell. Um, so he doesn't want to lower the price. So I'm like, okay, I'll keep that and I'll sell this one instead. <laughs> so yeah, so now I'm trying to sell this one along. Um, and yeah, I still really love the color. It's such a gorgeous color. I feel like Chanel never does a color like this. This was a very special one from the 21K collection, but yeah i just 
I don't need two purple bags and also not to mention that like I said this does kind of look gray sometimes and I do already have a gray bag that also funny enough in very particular lightings that can look a little bit lavender so there is somewhat of an overlap between the two um so yeah that's why i'm deciding to sell this bag along and honestly this bag is like if you look at it it still looks like it's in great condition and especially the leather it's actually in like I mean, it's wrinkled, but it's supposed to be wrinkled. So the leather, um, factoring the fact <laughs> that it is supposed to look distressed, I actually think the leather has worn really well, but there are some other aspects of this bag that haven't worn quite as well. So because of all that, I'm actually pricing this at like, I think is a really good price. Definitely significantly cheaper than some reissues on the pre lock market that look much more worn than this. Um, but just to list all the wear and tear on this. So the first thing I want to mention is, um, I guess it's not really a wear and tear thing, but there is this um, one part of the leather where the way they stitch the bag together the kind of like underside of the leather is kind of exposed um, back here. And also there are a few stitches in the back where you can see some glue residue on it. Um, the glue has yellowed a little bit, so you can see a little bit of yellow on these stitches at the back um, where the flap is connected for the most part. And then at like these seams in the back, you can see some of the glue residue too. Um, there's nothing of the sort on the front of the bag. It's just like along the back of it. Um, also, there is some minor scratches on the hardware and then there is like a crease along the back of the flap. And the other thing that I wanted to mention is there's actually um, some chipping along the metal on the chain like if you just hold the bag and you're using it without looking up close you actually don't see the chipping but if you were to go inspecting it up close there are some links um, that have some chipping on it i'll try my best to show that in some pictures that i'll leave on the screen but honestly it's really hard to capture and it's not that easy to notice because this chain um, is like the shiny silver and even the parts that have chipped, it's not like a big contrast in color either. But I'll try my best to show you guys just so you can see for yourself what that looks like. So this is the first bag that I'm going to be selling and the other bag that I'm selling is this one right here it is my medium classic flap in this caramel brown color with light gold hardware um this was like such a popular color um i got this from the 22s collection they released this color i believe twice in the classic flap style once was in the 21 P collection things are somewhat blurring all together but I purchased this from the 22s collection um, so the reason that I'm selling this one is because I also have the same exact color um, in the Chanel 19 style which I purchased I think it was like the collection right after this one because I just don't need so many um, brown colored bags I feel like one is enough for my collection and that one just suits the outfits that I have um, to pair with this color better in my opinion so yeah that's why I'm selling this one along but it is such a stunning color like for me personally it is the perfect shade of brown and what I really like about this bag specifically, this is lambskin by the way, um, is that the lambskin feels really luxurious, 
but it also doesn't feel super delicate. I'm not sure if this is like the same type of lambskin that they use on the Chanel 19s. I feel like it's not. Like, I feel like it isn't exactly the same, but whatever the case is, like, you get that like soft texture of the lambskin, but it's not so delicate that you feel like you have to baby it a lot. And I think it shows in like the wear of this bag because honestly, aside from this um, faint crease on the back, which it's, it's gonna happen to like any flat bag that you get. Aside from that and also on the inside, there is um, some indents from where that zipper on the flap kind of like meets the inner flap as well as that snap button um, where that presses along the leather. That's really the only wear and tear that I see on this bag. Other than that, it still feels amazing. There's no scratches on this or anything. And I am selling this bag for like 25 to 30% less than what it's priced at on Fashion Files. So if you've been looking for this bag um, in this color, then now is your chance to get it. So those are all the items that I'm selling in this vlog sale. And as I mentioned earlier in this video, I will have all the information you need listed in the description box down below. So make sure to check that out if you're interested in purchasing any of these items. And even if you're not thinking of purchasing any of these items, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe it was insightful for you guys. And if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And also, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do consider subscribing and and I'll leave two videos on the screen for you to watch next. So I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.